the moment that you give up your key competitive advantage, which is your physical location, then it's a total meritocracy. Mike tweeted out this this thing. I'm going to read it, and I want I'd love to. Let's just start with the tweet. So, Mike, it's brilliant. American workers advocate strongly for remote work, but it undermines their key competitive advantage compared to international workers. Over time, I think most American workers will push for in-person work environments to protect jobs from outsourcing. So Mike, I wanna start with you. What is this key competitive advantage? Why did you tweet, and why did you tweet this? And then maybe like Jason and Sean, I'll get you guys to weigh in too, but where did this come from? Cause this hit home for me. Yeah, so, I mean, the dynamic that I see on Twitter is so much of, hey, you know, remote work is awesome. Companies that are in person are these dinosaurs. You know, this is so great. And obviously during COVID, this just, you know, really accelerated the number of companies that are fully remote or partially remote. And I guess I would start here by saying like, you know, I get it. I get why from an American worker's perspective, like this is awesome, like more flexibility, more freedom, you know, casual Fridays where I'm just kind of hanging out at home. But the observation I was trying to make is nobody is thinking this thing through five, 10, 20 years down the future, which is the moment that you give up your key competitive advantage, which is your physical location, then it's a total meritocracy. And, or I would say it's a, it's a meritocracy where pay really matters. And the world is full of very, very smart, very driven people that are willing to work for a lot less than Americans because just their cost of living surrounding them is, is a lot less. And so like, if I'm running a company where I've got an office and I expect people to be in the, um, in the office, then basically my hiring pool is people that live within whatever X number of miles of my company headquarters or people who are willing to move there for that job. And historically, that's just been the way that work happened, that you, when you wanted to hire somebody, you, you hired somebody close. And then occasionally, maybe if it was like a C-level position, you'd go and you'd do a bigger search where you, you would try and attract somebody in. If you're in a market like I am, like Oklahoma, not a lot of people are like, ready to move to Oklahoma. So you're pretty much hiring, you know, kind of around yourself. But with the move that we've made towards remote work, obviously this is kind of an inflection point where companies are all of a sudden, like Google announced this last week that a bunch, they're letting go of a bunch of engineers and, and sending it overseas. I think one thing that American workers have not caught up to is just how much cheaper labor is compared to them around the world and how quickly that labor is catching up. There are definitely some areas where American labor is more skilled uh, and has some competitive advantages on the skill side, but technology is rapidly reducing those. And so from my point of view, there's going to be a little bit of a reckoning that happens at some point in the next five or 10 years where American workers are like, crap, we opened Pandora's box. We should have tried to be pushing for in-person where they are hiring American workers and not where my job can just say, hey, why am I paying you $60,000 when I can pay $10,000 for somebody in Colombia that's just as driven and just as skilled as you are? And so anyway, uh, like right now, it's it's really popular to like seek out positions that are, that are work remote. But with the advances in, of AI and technology and the dis dispersion of information, uh, I, I don't think American workers realize quite what they've brought on themselves. Another guy that we're all friends with, very smart, uh, e-com operator, uh, DM'd me directly after I sent that and said, I think this is going to be the number one thing that happens. I think wages in the U.S. are going to be under significant downward pressure. I'm just trying to figure out how to play it. So there's other smart people who are really thinking about this. Uh, but yeah, it was just kind of an observation that it was funny. I'd never seen anybody make that like, you, you know, when you're a worker, you, you're, you have a, a set of skills and a set of qualities that make you a good candidate. And the fact that people don't think about the fact that geography is a big one of those skills is really funny to me.